welcome back to the international news stage here at CES 2016. Um, I'm here with um, Simon Drake from Name Audio, and uh, I'm going to be talking a little bit to Simon about the Name QB, which is the smaller Name Muso that's been launched here at the show. Uh, welcome, Simon. Thanks for coming to Thank join us. Thank you very us. much for having and, me, And uh, we're delighted to have you here on the stage. Now, obviously, the Muso, the big Muso, has been a great success for you guys. Um, won a what Hi-Fi Award, I believe, it uh, has back indeed. in the day. It has indeed, and we're <laughs> and, very proud to say it. Yeah. And, uh, you know, being selling, selling well in retail. So what prompted you to, to come up with the QB, the smaller version that you've just launched now? I mean, Muso was a, was a challenge that very much paid off. I mean, you know, we were passionate about putting our all of our credentials and uh, expertise into something that a wider audience could enjoy and trying to achieve that without compromising on our own quality standards you know sonic quality standards yeah as uh, was was really difficult and then when it paid off and the feedback's been fantastic and we're, we're so pleased to have uh, received the critical mass and awards that we have mm. the challenge was then well how can we do it all again in yeah. a way you know how can we continue to to broaden awareness of our brand through through music systems which are you know, instantly accessible and for a, for a wider audience. And I think that's what's really, uh, really important is that you know, Muso appeals to and sits in the same streaming ecosystem as our higher end streamers. Mm. But equally, you know, in the US, it would be you know, the, uh, an aspirational product for a college student for whom a Muso will be their entire system. Yeah. You know? So it could be a second or third system for an audiophile, but an entire system for somebody uh, who's more millennial for whom spending $1,500 is, uh, is quite an undertaking. Now, the original Muso, I mean, it was quite a big departure for Name because obviously yeah. you guys, you know, Name's got a fantastic reputation as a, you know, traditional, established, yeah. hi-fi component, separate component company. Um, and then you come up with something that, you know, is essentially a one-box solution. Were, were you nervous at the time? I mean, you know, did you guys think, well, yeah, it's a bit of a gamble this, but we'll, we'll put it out there and see what happens? I definitely think, I mean, how we develop products, you know, get in a room and ask ourselves, can we deliver this to our own standards, mm. you know? And perhaps the times where we haven't, no one would have heard about it because we stopped it there and then, yeah. if you know what I mean? <laughs> and I think that's the wonderful thing is that we can finally step back and say that, you know, we are, we're tremendously proud of it. And I think the, su the success of the product spe speaks for itself. Yeah. And I think that's what's great is that, you know, you put all of our audio engineering expertise and how we, we, we voice and we engineer a product with our ears, you mm. know? It's not just about numbers mm. it's about going do you know what it's, does that get my foot tapping and my head nodding you know yeah. and you know needless to say when when you get there it works but it's not just about that it's it's been about build quality it's about getting that stunning industrial design and packing it with features you know i, I think that's where it's been so successful is that it, uh, we justify the price point because of how tangible. I mean, it's all, you know, it's quite heavy. It's yeah, quite it's substantial. Quite a big, solid and then that's one of the main, it, you would think this is quite simple, but actually in the wireless speaker category, delivering something that is made of wood, like any good speaker cabinet should be, and is wrapped in uh, brushed aluminium is not, um, not something which many people are doing it. No, sure. Now, I went to the uh, launch of the original Muso in London and uh, talking to your engineers there. I mean, obviously, it was quite a challenge for them because, um, you know, they had a, a certain limit to the amount of space that they yeah. could get all the components yeah. in and to tune the, the product and so on. Of course, now what you've done is made it even harder for yourselves because yeah. you've shrunk the thing down to a much smaller size, a more compact cube. Um, how, how have you managed to get around that? Because that obviously well, will have posed some You're right. There are, there are inevitable challenges with the, the just yeah. purely the volume and the form factor. Uh, yeah, you know. The, the form factor was almost dictated by the need to have uh, the array uh, for the drivers. Mm. So if you were to just halve a Muso, then you wouldn't have the height to be able to have mm. the five drivers front facing. Yeah. You know? and with this, a lot of people assume because it's cubic in form, it must be omnidirectional. But mm. of course, that's not the case. Mm. And actually, the guys have worked very hard to deliver a really impressive stereo imaging from quite a small box. Yeah. So you know, inevitably, we ended up increasing the height so it becomes cubic in mm. form, mm. which people didn't expect. But you're right, you don't have the volume. And one of the reasons why uh, the Muso sounds so powerful at the bottom end is because it has a base port that runs all the way through the bottom of the product. Yeah. And you can really feel the air pumping. And obviously, with a volume and a form factor like QB, mm. that, can't, that couldn't be the case. So what we did was, um, after a lot of experimentation, the guys came up with uh, using passive radiators on the side of the product yeah. uh, to actually en enhance the bottom end there and give a, give a really a, a detail and resonance to the base. Yeah. Okay, so we've got big Muso, we've got Muso Q QB. Uh, can we expect more models? <laughs> is, the, is, is the family going to grow beyond this? At, at this stage, I mean, yeah, Muso is designed now to be an ecosystem and a family yeah. of products as well as the flagship product. Mm. Uh, it's fair to say that we're all 
Uh, we launched the product in March at retail. Mm. We've only just unveiled it at CES. We're keeping our fingers crossed that it'll be as well received as the Muso. And uh, watch this space as to what we uh, may or may not do next. Okay. And um, obviously, um, you've got Tidal integrated in. I know yeah. you, you know, you were big fans of Tidal. We gave it an yeah. award this year. Fantastic. Um, or rather last year. And, uh, you know, we, we love the service. But um, we've been talking a lot here on the stage and around CES this year about MQA mm -hmm. uh, and obviously the ability to stream high res audio um, and, and these sort of wireless products. Again, is that a route you think Name is, is going to take? Are they going to go down that route? I think that. You know, we're all, we're all friends in the industry, yeah. and I think anyone that's doing something positive that makes streaming high-quality music easier mm. is a great thing for the industry, and it's a great thing for the consumer. And, you know, I think one of the biggest challenges we face in terms of the consumption of music over the Internet is how we can package it uh, in a way that makes it easier to digest. Mm. You know, and I think for the, for the bigger corporations, um, making it straightforward for them to suddenly switch on a lossless stream or yeah. a high-resolution stream is a, is a wonderful thing for the industry. Um, and I think you know, we're very much at a tipping point as to which of these formats will be widely adopted. Yeah, you know, and sure. I think there's a reason why you know, we only embrace the best, and that's why we've, we've only integrated uh, Spotify and Tidal. And yeah. we're, you know, in a way, waiting to see what happens next. Mm. You know? And I think the c consumer will inevitably decide which of, these, uh, of the many solutions out there yeah. will, will survive. But I mean, largely speaking, you know, MQA is not currently featured on Muso QB, but uh, you know, I take my hats off to the guys for developing something which, you know, largely speaking, people have, have said really good things about. Yeah, and no, we'll never be no positive feedback. I think absolutely, here, and it, anything that makes. Demos. Sorry, Karen. Yeah, no, I was just saying. You know, I've seen a few demos of it running yeah. around the show, and it's been great. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, Simon. Well, thank you very much. Um, good to catch up with you. Um, thanks for coming to the stage. And, my pleasure. Uh, thank you for having me. We look me. forward to uh, having a proper listen and reviewing the QB. Thank okay? you. Thank you. Cheers, thanks Andy. So much.